So if it makes for Christmas, you're gonna come back around? Heck yeah. I'll be here. Well, remind us now who you are and and um, what you were doing this time last Christmas at this same spot. I'm Larry, Christmas tree decorator, roadside huh. Christmas tree decorator yeah. from last year. And you've been doing that for quite a while, hadn't you? Yes, okay. 12, 14 years, somewhere around there, 10 to 12. And Time goes by so quick. And how many trees did you decorate last year? Printed up with 72, 77, somewhere uh -huh. around there. And then, Going and for 100 this year. Oh, so you're already planning ahead for Christmas. Oh, yes. Going, going for 100. Yeah. We're and up everything that can be lit up. And we're on a, a stretch of Bradley Creek Road just south of the landfill intersection, Carters Valley intersection. Uh, now, you have permission to use this property, right? Yes. From the owner? Yeah. Um, yeah. Thought it'd be nice just to July, get in some 4th of July and some Labor Day. And yeah. Well, you got Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day coming up. Yeah, I hope people don't think we're already starting on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> They've been coming through well, you, blowing. But you still have your Santa beard on. Uh, well, I got rid of it in January. Yeah. Started letting it grow back, so. Well, uh, tell me what's going on today. What, what are you working on today? Anything red, white, blue, just to get people in the spirit of celebrating and enjoying our freedom that a lot of people gave up their freedom for us. So. Yeah. We're not going to be anything like Christmas. It's just going to be a few flags and trees right in here. And, yeah. And there's some right under on that corner. But it won't be it won't be anything like Christmas. What? Well, when did? How did you come up with this idea? Because you you haven't done the fourth. You haven't done this before. You... No, it's a brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> now this thought it'd be pretty cool. You know, it's about halfway mark of really doing the Christmas trees again. So. Yeah. A lot of people like it so far, they come through and blow. And yeah. They don't blow by myself hardly, but if she's with me, they blow for some reason. <laughs> Have you, who, who's your helper? That's Sherry Bruce. She works with us at the uh, food pantry for Hope. Oh, okay. All right. So where'd you get all the flags and stuff? Me and Sherry buys it. Okay. I know you said last year, Oh, you, you buy your Christmas stuff after Christmas to get a good deal on it. Did you do that this year? Uh, I've got a storage building full. Yeah. Amazon and eBay. Oh, okay. Amazon. All right. We should have enough to do. To light everything on the hill up this year. How many flags are you going to put up this year? Well, we've got, we've got oodlings. Flag everything we can. Pardon? I don't really want to get over here into all these trees again. Yeah. Not when it's grown up, you're liable to get poison ivy or something. Poison ivy, snakes. Yeah. But just, keep... just enough to get people into the mood and make them think about what's what we've gave up, what a lot of people sacrificed their lives for us, and so it, it's good for Memorial Day, Fourth of July. Labor Day, and then won't be long after that we'll start on Christmas trees again. Okay, about Alrighty. October. Yeah, when it's all grown up, you don't, you don't, you got to go do the low trees anyways. You can't go up there because yeah. nobody will see it anyways. No, and they've grown a lot since last year. Yeah, <laughs> it looks a lot different now than it does yeah, it looks in, totally in the wintertime, don't it? Yes. It looks like a barren yeah, it's... hillside, and then now it's a big green wall. I think it's a pretty good little idea, though. Yeah.